Hi. Hi. We're excited to show you now how we make a front canvas for a floating front canvas on a jacket out of raw materials. So that takes three materials for a flo full fro Ooh, that's hard to say. Full floating front canvas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the materials that we're using today, this is our Seville canvas from, from Italy. It's a beautiful piece of fabric. It's a medium heavyweight Hymo canvas, and it'll be good for our medium heavyweight wool here. The next fabric that we will cut and use is horsehair canvas. This is our Salerno, also from Italy. And then we have Domet, that's D-O-M-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E. we'll write it somewhere for you. And this is a kind of like a kind of like a felted flannel sort of thing that we use mm -hmm. to cover the pokey parts of the horsehair. So, Archer. We started, right? Yeah. Let's do it. So what we're gonna do? First we're gonna take the canvas. If we put a double, let's check this canvas in the middle. And probably will not be enough for this size of the jacket. It's almost enough, but I'll show you if the jacket front will be bigger, how you will need to cut. So I'll we'll open it. So Archer could cut it double using this fabric and this size jacket. Mm -hmm. And if it's, this is only 27 and a quarter and a half inch, inches wide. If it, a lot of our canvases are 59 inches wide, so you can always cut them double. But yeah. if your jacket size is bigger, you want to cut it the way that Archer is showing now. So you can cut single. So one you cut this way, the other one you will turn it and cut it from there. The top will come to this side. So let's start it, right? Just put it like that. Here should be a straight line. You can use an L shape, an L ruler. Yeah. To make see. sure that it's the waistline is perfectly perpendicular to the selvage. Let's cut it. Here we're gonna cut this jacket uh, shape. This. Right, this piece. Here we can cut a little bit bigger. I will tell you after why. Then we will need to, I will show you on a jacket the, how we're gonna cut, like let's say we need like about, I need about this much of the canvas. So Archer's just making these marks to show, but he won't, he won't actually... Like about this much. <laughs> need and, to mark it this and way. And here I will cut a little bit more also, because I'm gonna make darts here. So let's mark it like that, like this, and like this, right? Also, we need to cut here. Then I'm gonna mark the waistline. Waistline and here also. And I'm gonna mark this line and this line. The center of the dart. Center of the darts, right. And here also, like this. So then I'm gonna mark the uh, lapel folding line. So otherwise known as the roll line. This. Like this. And that's it. We can take away. Let's take the ruler. Like you see, my mark here. I'm gonna put the line here, half an inch away. You'll see in a minute why. So I'm gonna mark the waistline to here. It was center of the darts, like this, then like that, and like that. And here, as I told you, we're gonna cut this way. Also, I'm gonna make one more darts here. Not big, because this size is not big, so it depends from the uh, customer, like if he has a big chest, so you should make bigger darts, and so from, from the chest. So 
So then I'm gonna take and turn it to this side like that. Again, make sure he is a straight line. The place where you want the straight line is right here at the bottom of your at the bottom of your roll line. Oh, Bobby. You've got thread running yeah. away. <laughs> <laughs> gonna do now just a regular pins here and uh, I will make notch here also like in the middle of the shoulders that's about let's say three inches like that then I need to cut horse hair the horse here, how this work? Like if you fold it to this side, it lays pretty flat. Yes, the hair goes this way. If you if put you it like this, it, that, it doesn't. Back. Yeah. Yeah. So. So it's very important. Horse hair is a funny fabric, and it's very important mm, very how funny. you. <laughs> very funny. <laughs> and it's really important how you use it in your garment, which direction the, the hair goes. This direction, it's fine. It works perfectly like this can you see the straight line mm -hmm. so put it like this and I'll cut it here and then I'll cut it here make sure you're not cutting through your pins that's what actor just checked and then so here I'll show you how much do we need so the chest usually is going this way so we need about like let's say i will cut like about this much and a little bit even smaller than canvas like i'm gonna just throw here like this so that line he just marked is the shape that he's cutting and he doesn't need to mark it on the on the high low canvas that's just to show for this yeah. video so i'll put it like this and then we can cut it here so that line that we marked half an inch away from the roll line that's what he wants to line up the edge of this horsehair with So we'll need two pieces for the shoulders here. Uh, another piece of high canvas to go into the shoulders. It can be high canvas, it can be horse hair. It's, it's up to you. So I'll put it like this. I will cut this one. Like this. And then I want to transfer this line to the canvas and cut it like that. And we need about this piece, like about five, six inches, it's fine. And then we're going to put here. Again, I, like I said, it can be horse hair, it can be canvas, depend how stiff do you want to make here. If stiffer, horse hair will be better. So now we have we have this. We have horse hair, and we need to cut the mat. The mat I will cut a little bit bigger than horse hair. We can use. We can use the canvas to cut the mat, or we can use 
horse hair. Meaning over. you could lay the yeah. under the canvas yeah. or lay the horse hair on top. Whichever. That I will say, this one is, uh, let's say this one stretches always. You can cut even straight. But if not, just cut it by us. I will cut by it. What do you mean, if not, Archer? Some domain is not uh, stretchy this way, for example. Uh -huh. so check Some it. of them, yeah, they're soft. You need to check it. If not, so, but it's better just cut bias and you will never make mistake. You know? mm -hmm. uh, so let's cut the bias. Okay, I'm gonna cut bigger than. So you're cutting about a half inch bigger all around? Yes doesn't need to be exact. Just a little bit bigger to cover the horse hair. Done. Have that. Then I will use tape also. That's bias tape. It's a bias tape. Uh, you can use actually many things like if your Heimo canvas is soft you can use even cut the piece of Heimo canvas and use it like let's say we will need four darts so for this darts, for that darts and for this darts right? we, we need to transfer this to the other side also this mark like uh, I'm gonna use missing paper to mark it You can use tracing paper, you can do it just uh, by chalk. I will use tracing paper. Do you always transfer the marks, Arthur? Or do you sometimes just sometimes cut Sometimes I just, uh, no, that it's better to cut when uh, um, horse hair will be stitched. Then you will cut. And we need also this mark. This side. See, to transfer here. So we have that. Then we're gonna take our horse here. I'm just gonna show you here. Put it like that. I made a notch here. I want to make notch on the canvas also, on the horse hair also, but not necessarily doing the same place, it can be close, it can be near, so like that. And then, and then we can take our few pieces and also make a cut like this. And that's also not in the same place. Yeah, it's better not to do in the same place because when this will open, here will be, uh, we will have horse here. Mm -hmm. So that should work like this. Mm -hmm. So this is it. Why we need bias tape, right? First, we, uh, uh, when we'll put this after we're gonna cover with, with the mat like that. So why we need why we need this tape, for example? I'm gonna show you, like I'm gonna cut two pieces like that. For now, we can take this piece away. This is one side, that's another side. So we're gonna put like that. this like this and then we're gonna zigzag it here let's go to the zigzag machine right okay let's go